So targeted universalism builds on this strategy. And what it is is that it's saying empirically as well as in terms of communication, empirically targeted universal programs oftentimes don't actually benefit uh, marginalized groups. And there's a, a number of reasons for this. The obvious one is groups are situated differently. And what we need is programs that are, excuse me, universal in their goals but targeted in their approach based on the different situation of groups. Instead, what we do is we have programs that are universal in their strategies, thinking that they'll produce universal outcomes, and they don't. They, put, they produce disparate outcomes. Uh, and I can give you a number of examples. Um, uh, let me just give you a health example, which is actually uh, very good. And, uh, Bobby Milford, which is, uh, who's a friend of uh, Tony and works at C used to work at CDC, has done some modeling around what happened in, in Massachusetts around the health care. The assumption was if you make health care insurance available to everyone, blacks and Latinos and Native Americans and poor Asians will benefit because they're the most likely not to have insurance. So if you make a universal health insurance available to every someone, will that create better health outcomes and close the disparities between whites and non-whites? And the Assumption was, of course. In fact, the answer is it does not. Not only does it doesn't, doesn't close the disparities, it actually widens the disparities. And, the, and that may be counterintuitive. How could that be? Uh, the reason is, and this has been done in Massachusetts and has been modeled around the rest of the country, it's not simply that people lack health care insurance. They also lack access. And if you don't increase the capacity and you increase the demand, the new demand will actually pull resources out of marginalized communities into majority communities. Uh, and so you have to then look at the system through a much more uh, multifaceted way. Or another way of saying that you have to target. If you say you want everyone to have better health outcomes, in order for uh, the white family that's living next door to a health care center or hospital, who only thing that's stopping them from getting access is health insurance, that's fine. But for a rural family who, who has one doctor and one health care worker who's dying to get back to the big city, to increase health care insurance for everyone is going to pull those workers out of those areas that already have inadequate resources. So you have to pay attention to the whole system. So a targeted approach, and a targeted approach works also in terms of communication, because you're not saying, we're only concerned about Latinos, or we're only concerned about rural whites, or we're only concerned about black folks. What we're saying is that all of us want to get to this universal goal. But for the white family that's living next door to the uh, uh, health care center that just needs insurance, let's give them insurance. For the Latino family that's living in a rural area, let's give them insurance, and let's create health care workers in their community and let's give them health care workers who can speak their language. So they need three things to get the same outcome that the white family has. So that's what targeted universalism really acknowledges. It allows us to actually talk about race, ethnicity, and our different situatedness within a universal language. And it's quite powerful. Uh, so that's one of the things I want to really emphasize and leave you with. Uh, and we've now done this all over the country. Uh, and gone into communities where people have been fighting for years uh, and changed the language, changed the frame, and changed the programs and had huge positive impact. We did it in Cleveland where the black and white community had been fighting for years. And now there's a kind of relationship that actually moves things in a positive way. But it's not just conversation. In order for it to be stable, it also has to be reflected in the structure and programs. So the structure and programs have to reflect these goals. So I'm not saying let's just have a dialogue about targeted universalism, but I'm saying let this inform our programs. And as it's 14 the communities, if you sort of think about how your communities are situated within opportunity structures and how you actually get to where you want to go, you have differences, but your differences is largely situational. You, most of you have similar outcomes that you want. And it also allows you to participate in a much larger discussion.